can, so I ain't really here. But um, I mean, I'm grateful and appreciative for Coach Pope, obviously. Um, he's been a great coach for me so far. And just the way his approach and the way he breaks down the game and just allows the guys to move. I mean, it's huge. You speak on Kobe's play tonight? I mean, it was great. That's kind of that's kind of a game. Like he could beat up at any minute because obviously we know he's a knockdown shooter. So I mean, it was just great seeing him go out there, knowing that um, he's gonna stay aggressive and keep on pulling them up. I mean, that helps us a lot. It seems like a lot of the team is that way, though. Anybody can get hot any night. Yeah, that's that's kind of the benefit with our team. Um, we're so deep that uh, you never know who's gonna be. Which a lot of opposing teams are gonna have trouble guarding that. So I mean, this I mean having that uh, depth is huge. Seeing. It's crazy. Um, I mean, I really haven't been a part of a team like that. The way the ball moves, like the pop rule that we have, is huge. Um, everyone's getting involved. So, you know, it's just great knowing that you have a lot of the selfish guys and everyone's happy for each other, regardless of who it is that night. Seeing Trent and Travis both hit their first three pointers, what was that like for you guys? Well, I was so excited because, you know, we, we practice with those guys every day. And um, they put in so much work. And I mean, you guys know what type of players they are because they're the Kentucky boys. So, you know, just seeing their work come into fruition. And, I mean, that's many more to come, really. So. You hear Coach Pope praising you after the game, saying you're the most consistent guy on the team. How are you feeling mentally, physically, uh, four or five games? feeling good, baby. Feeling great, yeah, for real. But, um, yeah, I kind of came in on the back end, so I didn't really hear too much. But um, I'm just trying to stay consistent in the things I do. Control what I can, which is my energy, um, my motor. And I feel like the ball finds good energy. So, I mean, I'm not worried about too much besides just going out there and making plays in terms of my motor. 108 points. Uh, it's a lot of points. What's that like for you all? I mean, you know, I think you're averaging 102 at home. Yeah, I didn't even know we had 108 to the end for real. But... I mean, it's, it's dope because uh, we put up so many threes and obviously three greater than two. So, I mean, we can run it up quick. So, um, I mean, that just goes to the offensive uh, firepower that we have, I would say. How do you explain your fast start? Uh, just being aggressive from the jump, uh, knowing that I'm just trying to set the tone every game in terms of how we want to play the whole game, which is fast, uh, compete, play aggressive, and that's all the things I do. So. I just try and start, I mean, aggressive every game. Has it always been that way for as long as you've been playing? Because a lot of guys, it takes them a while to get around down the floor a few times. Yeah, um, it was kind of, last year I would say it was like that a little bit, but um, I noticed like in the second half, that's when I really wake up. So, I mean, obviously every year you try and get better. So I kind of took that into account this year, just knowing that, I mean, we're a deep team too. So you got to start, got to start fast. So. You can impose your will. Did you change your pre-game routine at all from last year to this year? Nah, just, um, you know, as you get older and more experienced, you know, you kind of get a feel for the game and certain, when you have to make certain plays and when you have to kick in. So that's kind of what it was, really. Is there a certain player you kind of maybe model your game after? Because I feel like when I see you, I see Jimmy Butler. Yeah, um, it's funny. I've been I've been hearing that a lot. I like Jimmy Butler a lot, for sure. Just the way he plays off of two. And um, I mean, his intensity on both sides of the ball. But I mean, I watch a lot of uh, Dwayne Wade, uh, Victor Oladipo, Jimmy Butler now as well. Just five games into this, but what's this experience been like for you? I mean, it's been great uh, just playing in front of Big Blue Nation. I mean, this home stretch that we're in and the support that they bring every single night, regardless of if it's Tuesday or Wednesday. Or, I mean, they just, they just show so much support. On top of that, it's a dream to play for Kentucky. So, you know, I'm just happy that I'm here. Really. So, can you guys explain the unselfishness? Because it seems to be top to bottom. Most teams um, have a couple of guys that try to get theirs when they need to and all that stuff. But you guys don't. Yeah, I mean, that's credit to Pope for uh, and uh, the people he recruited. I feel like he kind of, he kind of like handpicked it in a certain way. He knew what he wanted and he knew what would be valuable to win a national championship. So. Um, he got a lot of older guys, and we all know that if we want to do big things, like we have to sacrifice, which is we're not going to know who's going to be the guy every single night, but we're going to play hard and compete every single night. So, I mean, we all have big goals for this year, so we just know we have to put our ego and certain things to the side. Yeah, we talk about coach, but you guys really have no idea who's going to be the leading scorer every night, do you? Nah, we don't. It's, it's crazy because just the way the offense is, it's like a field thing. So, I mean, we just cut hard, make make a, the right play, the simple play, where it's open. It's 
we don't get the shots, so we, we don't run a lot of plays. It's just more like a field game. Did you see what happened when the uh, got through that shoe with Brandon? Yeah, I mean, that was weird. Like, he wasn't going to get back in the play regardless. I don't know what the shoe was going to do, but, yeah, I mean, not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop Brandon when he got a wide open lane. So I don't blame him in terms of doing whatever you can to try and stop him. But yeah, that was wild. <laughs> when you come into a game like this for the opponents 0 and 5, is it tough to keep yourself and the whole team motivated throughout the whole game, the course of the game as well, and the and the leader? Nah, not at all. Like I don't. I didn't even look at their record. Obviously, I saw the first couple of games, but. We're just trying to approach every single game the same way because when you take when you take certain games off, that's when you can create inconsistency, and you don't want to create that on the team, especially when you're trying to do big things. So, I mean, Coach Pope preaches it, and on top of us, and on top of that, we all preach it to to each other, just being consistent in what we do, and just having the same energy regardless of who's across the court from us. I think it seems like every game you get off to a fast start. What what what's behind that? Um, just trying to set the tone. Um, I'm a guy that, I mean, I have a high energy, high motor, so I want to, um, a lot of times people aren't ready in the beginning to really play and they're trying to get their legs warm and stuff like that. So I'm trying to kind of take advantage of that a little bit, just start, start fast. Um, I'm an aggressive guy, so I'm really just trying to set the tone.